Welcome back to DP Tutorials. In this topic, let us learn about activity codes in Primavera P6. Similar to project codes, you can define set of codes to categorize the activities in projects. To group, sort and filter activities accordingly, we have to use these activity codes. So let us get into this topic in detail now. First, to create the global activity codes. Go to menu bar. In the enterprise tab, click on activity codes. In the activity codes dialog box, choose the global from these three options and then click modify. And then click on add. Type the name for the global activity code, say for example as sample and you can also set the max length of this code characters and click close. Now to create activity code values, again go to the activity codes dialog box. In the drop down, select any of these activity codes in which you want to create values. Say let's select responsibility. Then click on add button, type the values name and description for this. Say DP and Durga, click close. Now let's see how to create EPS level activity codes. Follow the same process and this time select the EPS in the activity codes dialog box. Click modify add the new EPS activity. When you click on any specific activity code, you can see the activity code name in the bottom portion and the maximum length. Let's click on add and give a name like sample. Now let us create EPS activity code values. Again go to menu bar, go to enterprise, click on activity codes, choose EPS in the activity codes dialog box and from the drop down menu, select the activity code for which you want to add values. I'm selecting the facilities sample. Click on add and give the name for this value. Now let us create the project level activity codes which is more important. The only difference with this project level activity codes is we need to first open the project for which we want to create activity codes. So yes. let us open a sample project now, say this one. After opening the project, go to enterprise tab, click on activity codes, choose project option and click on modify. Click add and type the name of the new activity code, say sample. And let us increase the max length of the code value to 10. And then to create project level, activity code values, go to the activity codes dialog box again. Selecting the activity code from the drop down menu and click on add. Type the values name and description and click on close. Now let us see how to convert any activity code to global level activity code. Again go to the activity codes dialog box. Let's choose EPS, click modify and select the code that you want to convert into global and then click on make global button on the right side. Click yes to confirm again and click close. Similarly, you can convert the project level activity codes into global level activity codes by just selecting the particular activity code and clicking the make global button. Use these activity codes, global, EPS and project levels to group activities and projects in the table view, the Gantt charts and the activity network layout. Group, grouping by these code values helps you to focus and prioritize on the specific activities and projects. In the activities window, right click and select group and sort. In this dialog box, 
under group by from the drop down fields you can select the global eps or project level activity codes by which you want to group the activities to describe the summary bar in the gantt chart here right click to choose bars in this dialog box scroll down to find the summary name and make sure to tick this check box when you are changing the group and sort to get the right summary in the gantt chart click okay to apply the changes okay so friends this is all about activity codes in primavera p6 i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if yes please give me a like share and comment for further more interesting videos please do subscribe db tutorials thank you friends thanks for watching